those on the way now. Screw those nice and tight. And then we want to take the left engine mounting bracket 13F and apply to this groove on 13A. Hey all, welcome back to the channel Rich Raw 3. Hope you're all doing good guys, hope you're all well. Today I'm building the Dodge Charger issue 13 from the Fast and Furious franchise. Guys, if you're not already subscribed, smash that subscribe button, click the like button and comment, share. We'd really love to hear from you guys. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much. Really appreciate it, guys. But as I've said, guys, if you're not already subscribed, smash that bell notification after subscribing and you will get every video I put up on the channel to do with Dom's Charger and all the other builds I'm doing on the channel, Rich Ball 3. But without further ado, guys, let's crack on with this week's build of the Dom's Charger from the Fast and Furious franchise, issue 13. Okay then guys, so without further ado, let's crack on with the Fast and Furious build, the legendary Dodge Charger RT, issue 13. So yeah, let's crack on through this week's mag guys. Here, you've got the finished result, what it's going to look like guys, when it's all built and done. That's how it's going to look, can't wait. Then you've got the Toretto family here, some of the actresses, got the usual content in here guys, and the good storylines, what the film's about interesting reads between issues pretty cool the dodge brothers got a lot to answer for there haven't they <laughs> anyway back to this week's build guys we're assembling the engine block look at that i love the colors of that's going to pop with the black body of the car and the chrome and that that's going to be wicked and then i think further down the line we have like blue leads the ignition leads it's going to really look cool, guys, this build when it's done. Let's just have a quick look through before we crack on. Don't look too busy this week, guys. It looks pretty easy-ish one, should I say. Passion for tuning. Like you'd expect, guys. You've got some beautiful pictures in these mags. Wicked. Usual content you get in this Fast and Furious build. Right, so what I'm going to do then, we'll get right back to... The beginning of the instructions and we'll get the pack which we've got here brand new pack guys look at that that's how they come all sealed and as you can see guys they're well protected these parts are completely protected in this plastic perspex box which fits the parts brilliantly so we'll just take that lid off there and I'll carefully take these parts out. Look at that, guys. That is steel, obviously, metal. But look at that. Love it. What I'll do is I'll take them out of this box and then we'll read through what parts are what and what they're called. I think we've got everything out of that. Yeah, it sounds like my makeshift studio is a mess, guys, but it's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> when you're in my truck, I do tidy it up later on. Back to the build. Piece in this stage, then, is 13A, which is the engine block left bank, and you've got 13D, which is the right, I would have thought, yeah, the engine block right bank. So, if you look at these um, pieces, guys, you can tell the difference. Because this one here... I've got the pattern of the moulds of the, the block and this, the right one, has got actual holes along with the pattern. So that is 13D and that's 13A. And you've got 13B, which is the oil filter base. Pretty cool. Again, that's metal. 
and you've got 13C which is the oil filter yeah I'm really excited about doing this build guys I've been waiting to this you know that 13E is the sump cover but just to make you aware guys for the next three or four issues it's all to do with the engine <laughs> and I think I mentioned that a couple of weeks back from doing the DeLorean that was the same it takes a good few issues to get the engine block done guys the detail on the engines is amazing it's just a shame you don't really see the engines but you will in this build but to do with the back to the future that is covered up by all the back the vents and the, the gizmos on top of the engine whereas this as you can see at the bottom of the screen you are going to see the top end the top half of the engine now these pieces 13f and 13g these are metal this is the left and the right engine mounting bracket okay and then you've got your usual screws am screws and ap screws ap screws should i say without further ado guys let's crack on and get on with this build right instruction one then align the linchpin inside the oil filter 13c which is this part here with the hole in the base of 13b and join that with an ap screw Okay, so I've already got the AP screw lined up. What we're going to do is put these together like so and then join those with an AP screw. Now, as you can see there, guys, try and point that out. Yeah, you've got like a little lip and then you've got like a, a little indent there. That has got to go that way around. Slot it into there like so. And then what you'll do is you'll join that with an IP screw. So yeah, you know, I'll join that with the IP screw and that little lip in the plastic oil filter and then part 13B, the base, it's going to stop it moving around as you tighten it up with the IP screw. So do that nice and tight. And that's that done. That's the result you've got. Looking good. Put that to one side for a second. Now instruction two, now attach the piece you have just made, which is that part there, yeah, to the left bank of the engine block 13A. Right, so as you can see by the diagram, guys, if you forgot from the beginning of the video, you've got no holes apart from that one in this block, whereas the right block has got holes, so we don't need that one. We need the left one. So, if we place that there, and then we want to turn that that way round, like so, and the screw is going to be going through the inside of the block to attach that like that. So what we're going to have to do is turn it over, which we're jumping ahead of ourselves to instruction three there, using an IP screw to attach this to the block so if I just get an IP screw out like that I do hope you're enjoying this guys as much as I'm enjoying building it I really do love it I'm happy to have it on the channel right so what I'm going to do is get that IP screw in there Start off the thread, guys. Make sure you've got it positioned right before you get any tighter, and then go for it. Nice and tight. Be careful not to round the top of the screw, and that's how that looks. Pretty cool. That's popping already for me. Love it. What's that view? Okay. Now we're on to. Instruction four, find the rectangular groove on the top of the surface. So yeah, that's going to be here, guys. That's what it's on about. And then we want to take the left engine mounting bracket 13F and apply to this groove on 13A, like so. And you'll know you've got the right one, guys, because you can tell that's higher up. And the right side so you want 
that's the right bracket guys if it's looking like that which is 13f but if you're in doubt guys take a look at your instructions at the beginning of the book and obviously follow those and you, you won't go wrong right so what we'll do start that one off and these are two am screws guys we're putting in this Comment down below, guys, if you're doing this with me, if you're building it, or you've built it, or you're going to build it. I'd love to hear from you. If it's your first build, your second, your last, <laughs> if it's been that bad. Now, I don't attempt fight, but you know the, the moral of this, guys, if you're screwing into metal, sometimes you're beneficial to put a bit of oil on the end of the screw just to get a bit more ease with the screwing in but touch wood this one has not been too bad so far and that's how that looks at the end of instruction four now instruction five take the gearbox you assembled in the last session and position it shown as illustrated there align the holes in the protruding, protruding rectangle piece on the base of the gearbox with the two screw holes in the side of the wall of the left bank. So basically into there guys. So what we're gonna do is if we turn that that way around, the gearbox is gonna be resting on there and we're gonna be attaching that with two AM screws. So yeah, here's the gearbox guys, what we built last week in the last session. Look at that. I hope that comes out on camera guys, that's so shiny and cool. What you want is you want this piece to be at the bottom, like so. And then if we take 13A, this is 12A, that's how it fits, just like that. So that's how it should look. Pretty cool. And then we will attach two AM screws into there, into 13A and 12A to attach them together. Keep that on the screwdriver in line. And if I just pull that round here so you can see. And I'll start off the fir first AM screw just to get a little bit of a bite. And do the same with this one. And then you've got them in line then guys. So yeah, those are on the way now. Screw those nice and tight. There we go. Yeah, remember these are two AM screws, guys. Just be careful not to wreck the head of the screw, because then you're gonna have a whole lot of problems of screwing them together. Make sure they're nice and tight though, because these are gonna be covered in a minute by the other side, the other, the right bank. And obviously you ain't gonna be able to get to tighten them any more than they are once sealed. That's how that looks. Pretty cool. Put that to one side a second. Now instruction six. Now put the right end in mounting bracket onto the right bank. So if I bring that over here, we want that that way around guys. The right mounting bracket and it's got to go in that little groove on the other block on the right bank. So that's gonna go like that. Just line the two holes up and we need two AM screws to attach it to the right bank, which is 13D. And the mounting bracket is 13G, just to make you aware of that goes. Now we're on instruction seven. Now it's telling us to put the two banks of the engine block 13A which is this one at the bottom of the picture, and 13D, which is what we've just worked on previous page, together aligning the holes on the two halves, fixing into place with two AM screws. So what we're gonna do, guys, is if we hold this in this position and have the bracket at the front of you, you can see these two holes here are gonna be fitting over these columns here. So. It's going to be like that. Now that is bent up a little bit just the way we've screwed it on, but as you can see, it's so easy to push back 
and it just goes into place and that's uh, that looks when you've done that. Now what we've got to do, which shouldn't be too hard, in these holes here, in these crevices, we've got to put two AM screws down there to connect these two banks, the left and the right engine blocks together. So if I get an AM screw, I think what I'm going to do is start one off. Once I feel the bite, do the other one and then we'll go from there. Once the screws in guys, this will be fine. So if I just hold those together, put down that crevice there, you should feel it bite, which it is. So that's that one done so far. I'm not going to do them too tight. I'm going to do them both tight once the, the thread has got into both sides. So now we'll go on that side. You can feel it going, it goes down the crevice tunnel, whatever you want to call it. And then you know when you've got onto the thread, you can feel it biting. That's tight as that's going to go. tight yeah those AM screws are tight as gonna go as you can see you've got a nice seam there a nice line everything for seams to flush that gaps fine nothing loose it's all tight and that's what we've got so far guys pretty cool I do like that very simple it's been put together but very effective Give it a like guys it deserves one and there's so much stuff parts gonna go onto this block which will make it pop guys i mean you'll have a fan belt etc you'll be putting the the air system the leads etc it's gonna be cool guys it's gonna be really cool well, i'll put that on one side a second now we're going to instruction eight now attach the sump cover which we've got here 13e ensuring that is facing the same way as shown on the illustration, attach it to the engine block. So what I want to do is put that in that position and then that is going to go on to the engine block like so. It's as simple as placing it on and then what we've got to do is attach that with two AM screws. So if I get two AM screws out Line it up on the screwdriver. Just make sure the screw's lined up as good as it needs to be. And that one. Just a quick one for a tighten up, guys. You can tell, I don't think they're going the other way, but you can tell that side is a bigger gap then it would be that side and that's another reason how you know you've got it on the right way but if you follow your diagrams guys and your instructions you can't go wrong that is how that's going to look we're now going to just tighten them up and i'm going to use my trusty ferrari screwdriver because it ain't let me down with the ferrari and it seems to have a bit of a better teeth on the end of the screwdriver if that makes sense this one was nice to use just because it could get down to parts a normal screwdriver wouldn't or some screwdrivers wouldn't if it was too thick but now I'm going back to the trusty Ferrari screwdriver check that build out guys if you want it's not finished yet but it's up on the channel see what you think of that that's going to be cool when it is finally built but there's a bit of a story behind that like I say check it out guys you'll see what I mean <laughs> but yeah it's a pretty cool build that but yeah guys that is it that's all nice and tight you've got the gearbox and the engine block all assembled and i think that looks pretty cool if i do say so myself i love the color orange black silver and you have the silver air vents on top eventually and the black belts etc the blue leads it's gonna look pretty cool but i think that is going to be it 
for this week's issue. Let's just double check it. That's the final result there. We've looked through the mag. So guys, that is it for the Fast and Furious. Build the legendary Dodge Charger RT issue 13 from the Fast and Furious franchise. Subscribe, like, comment, share. Peace. That is it for this week, guys, for the Dom's Charge Build from the Fast and Furious franchise, issue 13. I do hope you enjoyed it, guys. This week, what we were doing is assembling the engine block, and I love the colour of it, guys. I love the orange colour. I think that pops. And I think in future issues, we're going to be putting, like, the blue electric cables, etc. Blue, orange, and the crown. It's going to look wicked, guys. It's going to look really good, this build, when it's done. Now, if you want to come along with me on this build, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Smash that bell notification bell. So every time I put a video up with Dom's Charger or any other build I've got on my channel, you will get alerted and you'll be able to watch it at your own leisure. And of course, give us a big like, guys. Comment down below. Feel free to share the video. I would really appreciate that. Um, just to let you know as well, guys, this is from Fan Home, this build. So if you're interested in building it, go and take a look at the Fan Home website. It's wicked. It's really easy to get around. And the builds they're getting now, guys, is just, it's unbelievable. They've got um, this build, obviously, Dom's Charger. They've got stuff to do with the Star Wars. And I even think, without looking, you've got the Back to the Future model, which is on my channel also. Take a look at that, guys. There's loads. Go and check it out, guys. And, of course, take a look through my playlist if you're interested in watching any of the videos I'm doing. And then, again, if you're not already subscribed, guys, after you've taken a look through my playlist, feel free to subscribe like, comment, share. But for now, for this week, guys, for the Dom's Charge, it'll be back next week. So come back and join me. We'd really appreciate that. That is it, guys. So have a good week. Coming up tomorrow, we've got the Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Really interesting that is now, guys. It's going to be a good issue tomorrow. So stay tuned for that and get alerted if you press your bell notification to see when that's up, guys, and enjoy that. And then at the weekend, we've got Elvis Shorts on Sunday. And then next Monday, we've got the Titanic, Tuesday, the X-Wing, Wednesday, Dom's Charger, and then back to the Millennium Falcon on a Thursday. Thanks for watching, guys. Come back and join us again. See ya. Peace.